Let's try these cookies and cream, the most Oreo Oreo. It's funny because, whoa, that's a lot of filling. It's funny because I already made my own version of this, but I'm so curious to see what the original tastes like. Look at that. Mm. Ready? I like it. I never thought I'd say this, but it's almost too much filling. I don't even know if that's it. Cause you know the most stuffed Oreos, like the plain one? I really love those. This is a little too much for me. These ones, these most stuff, full of stuffing. I love these ones, but these, I don't know. Like they're not bad, obviously, because Oreos are delicious, but I don't know if this is for me. I'm honestly surprised I'm saying this, but I think these are just a nice to try, but like a genuinely nice to try, not like nice to try. I really like them. I wouldn't get them again. And I prefer regular Oreo. Okay, is it just me or have we dumbed things down? Just you see what I mean. Slit appears when opened. You don't say. Maybe it's just me, but I feel that this, <laughs> this is a trend. Like my boyfriend bought a shirt a couple years ago and it said wash when dirty. Like, do we have to say that? Isn't that a given? Or like... And over the past few years, I was talking to my bestie about this, that where I live, we used to say wind chill because the wind makes the temperature feel colder than it is. But now it's the real feel temperature. What? Okay, rant over. Back to the Oreos. These are nice. I like them. I'm so happy I got to try them, but they're not for me. Nice to try Oreo, but Oreo, I will forever love you and your products because they're amazing. Most stuff Oreo. Cheers.